Hey, this is Matt Cox, and this is uh, my video for today. I, huh, let's see, what am I talking about today? So today, this morning I woke up and I was, uh, basically I, I was like, like, like the last few days I've been depressed or I, I don't know what it is. I've been waking up and just been kind of, sorry, been kind of, uh, like I, I needed to do these videos and I haven't been able to just get out of bed and, and, and kind of get motivated. I mean, I'm motivated throughout the day periodically, but I haven't been able to really do the videos that I'm supposed to be doing. And I have, uh, you know, so, so, uh, my editor Colby is like, you know, telling me, Hey, you got to send me a video. You got to send me a video. So I'm supposed to send him a video. So I have to do a video. So here's what I did. And then the other thing is like, like what, do, what do I do on a video? What's, what's the video going to be about? So that's a problem. So here's what I did was I woke up this morning and I used to take like when I was like first, uh, probably about a year or so ago, I just, man, I just, you know, after COVID happened and like everything seemed like it was falling apart. And so I, I had just, I was having such a, a it was such a struggle to just get up and, and make videos. Uh, and I remembered I was, when I was in prison, I'd met this guy who had actually, he was actually had been incarcerated for, these was like the second time he had been, I don't think, I know it's the second time he'd been incarcerated for selling uh, medication on the internet. And one time it was steroids and he was in, involved in some huge steroid case where he was providing steroids like to different uh, athletes and stuff. He was selling Viagra or something. Like he had bought them, he was having a, some place in China make the chemicals or or make it and, and send it over here, and he had ended up he ended up on uh, ended up getting busted for it after a couple of years, and and went to uh, went to prison where I met him. Well, we had talked about that movie Limitless had come out. I don't know if you know the the movie Limitless, but Limitless had come out, and we talked about it, and he was telling me, well, there's a drug. Um, there's a drug called uh, Provigil. He, he was like, there's a drug called Provigil. And they, they ended up making that, that drug uh, generic. And so the generic name of it is uh, 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 Modif Modifinel. So, so there's Modifinel is the, is the generic drug. Anyway, the, the Limitless, the movie Limitless has got Bradley Cooper in it. He ends up taking this, I'm sure you know this, he, he ends up taking this pill that m makes him access like 100% of his brain or something. I forget what, it, what, the, what the amount is. But he, he just goes nuts. Like, like he, he's super smart. He could access all this information that's in his brain that, that typically he couldn't access and he can read. Everything is faster. Everything's easier. Well, obviously that, that's, that's not true. There's just no pill like that. And, However, there is that there is um, Modafinil, and Modafinil essentially is like I guess the closest thing that they've come up with. It was designed originally, and, and still is prescribed for uh, for narcolepsy. And what it does is it just helps you stay more awake. So it helps you. It helps with depression. It helps with anxiety. It helps with it helps with all kinds of stuff. I'm not telling anybody to go out and take the take the medication or anything. I'm just saying it's got it's got a lot of uh, it's got a lot of benefits to it other than just for narcolepsy. And if you don't know what narcolepsy is, that's when you have trouble staying awake. Like some people have it really bad and they'll just fall asleep. Like walk or they'll they'll sit down and boom immediately fall asleep. But typically it's it's just that you feel fatigued throughout the day and you really want to sleep. And anytime you sit down, you basically can fall asleep very easily. But the other thing that they prescribe the Modafinil for is for shift work. So if you get off of, if you have different shifts and you need to, or you go into work, but you, you just got off shift or you're, you're, you're having to sleep at different parts of the day and you have a hard time waking up or staying awake, you could take this pill and it keeps you awake. So I started taking it. I, I went to the doctor and I got it prescribed to me. Uh, I, I got some samples first and I took it and, I, and it worked really good. It kept me up. It kept me motivated, kept me going all day. It kept me on task. And it's proven that like there's all kinds of videos on, on YouTube where it's proven that the, 
The, the medication helps with problem solving, helps you with organization, helps you stay on task. Uh, it's like Ritalin for adults or something, which actually when I was a kid, I was on Ritalin too, because I had a, I had a learning disability. So uh, they were, you know, they're, they're dosing me with medication and, and everything else to try and keep me from, to stay on task and to learn. And Coffee does a lot though. So Modafinil and coffee, it's a, it, it's a powerful combination. Anyway, I started taking it about a year ago just because I just couldn't seem to get out of bed and couldn't seem to get motivated and I was just exhausted and depressed. So I started taking it and my girlfriend, Jess, which basically I'm back together with, we had broke up, but we're back together. We break up every couple of months. She has a, she, she breaks up with me for some reason and then decides she wants to get back together. And I'm pretty much come to the conclusion it's just gonna be like this. So uh, after I'd taken it for like a month or so, she she was like, "You, I don't want you taking it. It's it's like speed. It's you know it it's it's got you all jacked up. You're you're you know you work. You're now you're working all the time and and you're uh, you know I don't like it. I don't. She's really because she's a former." because she's like a, a former drug addict, she's totally against any type of medication. Uh, and so she's super anti-medication. I mean, obviously not if you need the medication, but anything like any type of stimulant or anything along those lines, she's absolutely opposed to. At this point, she, she really, I think she's only had a couple, I've only seen her, I've only seen her drink once or twice. Uh, well, this morning I woke up and I mean, I, listen, the last few days I've just been struggling. So, and so I, anyway, I stopped taking the, the Modafinil. And so this morning I woke up and I just went, man, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. I, I'm tired. I can't seem to get going. I have to do these videos. I have to crank out some videos. So I, 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 you know, I took one and, and I feel great. Like I'm doing the videos. I've been working all day. I've been nonstop. I've been staying on task. I've been doing great. It's, it's, the, it is the whole, the whole limitless thing. Uh, you know, obviously you're not brilliant. I'm not going to become a billionaire overnight, you know, and invest in the stock market or anything, but I definitely stay on topic and I'm, I definitely stay more focused. And that, that's, that's basically what my video is, is that I took that medication and this is me on Modafinil and me pumping out a video real quick and I'm really not going to keep taking it because you know Modafinil plus five six cups of coffee throughout the day probably not a good combination I th the guy that turned me on to it like he swears by it like he's and, and I have to admit after I'd taken it for about a month I probably took it for about two months to be honest after I'd taken it for about two months I really did when I got off it, I, I really just felt like I was in a fog. And the thing is, it makes everything a little bit more crisp, a little bit more clear. And I, I watched a couple, I've watched several videos on YouTube about it. And I remember one of the guys that had taken it said, you know what it, it makes me feel like? He said, it, it made me feel like where before I was walking around looking through the lens of a camera that was slightly out of focus. And suddenly I took the Modafinil and within 30 minutes to an hour, everything was in focus. That's how I feel. I feel like everything is in focus now. I feel, I mean, I'm jacked up with energy. It's also probably partially caffeine, but I never feel this, this uh, sharp when, with, with just taking, just taking, just drinking coffee. I don't feel this sharp. I don't feel like I'm, I'm so overwhelmingly excited to, to paint. I'm excited to make phone calls. I'm excited to return emails. I'm excited, like I can't wait to do this. I can't, where before I put it off. Same thing with the videos. Like all week I've been like, God, I, I gotta do this video. What am I gonna talk about? I hate, you know, I'm, I'm no good on these things and I don't, even, I don't even know why people are watching, why people are watching. I don't ever really feel great about the video. When I'm done, I'm, I'm so, overwhelmingly, uh, you know, just self-conscious about the videos that I'm making and, and the content and the whole, just the whole thing in general that I, that that's really part of the reason 
part of the reason I'm, 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 I have uh, Colby doing all the videos because it, it, I, I, I want to cut every single time I say, but, or, and, or, uh, or any of those types of things. I want to cut every single one of them out. I want to just cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. And so my videos end up being extremely choppy. A better situation is for me to simply just do the video and hand it off to somebody else and let him decide what what makes me look good and what makes me look bad and, and that's just the way it is. And but even then doing the videos, it's it's difficult to just get up and get going. So that's that's what I did. So this is me on on Modafinil and some caffeine and uh, I think and basically I think this is a whole video. This is a whole video. This is me doing a video on Modafinil. And I think that's, uh, I'm not saying for anybody to take Modafinil, I'm saying for me personally to get up and get going and stay on task and and stay focused throughout the whole day and enthusiastic, I, I, I just think it's it's a good fit for me. I know that Jess is gonna flip out, like she doesn't want me to take it, she's opposed to it. Like, And what's so funny about her, she never gets like overwhelmingly excited about anything or, or, or assertive, you know, she's extremely assertive. She's extremely, um, uh, irritated when, whenever I take one of these, these, this medication. And, and I know that, but nah, let's face it. She probably doesn't watch the videos. Actually, she does watch my videos. So she's, she's going to be irritated. I can tell that I, that I took this, this pill and I'm not going to take it all the time. I just, sometimes I, I need to get going. That's it. That's it. That's all I got. This is the video. This is my video. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel and uh, share the video. Hit hit the like button. Leave a comment. And I think I think that's it. See ya.